What's up YouTube? We post here and today it's Victor bringing you guys an RU battle with uh, using a team submitted by the user arules12348. Hopefully you've seen it in the comment section or somewhere. I don't know. Um, uh, I'm going to talk to keep this section short this time because this battle is really long and yeah. So his team originally had a ninja bug thingamajig and, instead of the mandibuzz and a crawdot instead of the fire Pokemon Typhlosion, but um, I looked at that team and I was like, okay, it's really weak to fighting. So I'm gonna t and I was no special wall and no special attacker. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll just take off the man the Ninja Bug because I didn't really exactly know what role it had on the team, and I didn't really know how to use it when I was playing with the team. So I took it off and put on Manibus special wall. I mean physical wall. Done. It, it needed physical wall because Agron is just not reliable enough. Um, Typhlosion. Uh, for special wall choice scarf because the crawdot was scarfed and crawdot was just too similar to Absol for my liking so let's get on with the battle shall we because this is really long and also lead up, gonna lead off with egg on here I've seen people called Optimus Prime or something whatever I'm gonna set up the stealth rocks he's gonna set up the spikes it's regular stuff I'm gonna go for uh I believe switch on to Craig all this time because I want to get off the rabbit spin he he take he um predicts that goes into his mischievous but he switches out for some reason I'm thinking okay you switch out I don't know why but I'm, I can get a rapid spin now he's gonna go for toxic I'm gonna get off a toxic we're gonna exchange toxic I'm like I look at his team and I'm thinking okay it's not that strange I mean it doesn't look too stally to me I mean it's got a ton of walls but I, when I was looking at it I didn't really think it was a stall team Trust me, guys. That's a really that's a stall team. I'm gonna go for heavy slam this turn, and he's gonna take it with a quick sire. I'm gonna go to Mana Buzz, take uh, anything he wants to do to me. But he, he went for, got the toxic off, which is like okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go for a um, toxic of my own this time. He predicts that goes into Quillfish. He absorbs the toxic because of course he's poisoned, and he's gonna taunt me this time, which is okay because I was gonna go for a whirlwind. And really, what does Mana Buzz do to anyone? Dark Pulse, Brave Bird, I don't know, knock off. So yeah, the taunt was overall good move. I should have expected that and didn't dumb play. Go to Tevolution. I go for extra sensory stupidly because I really... I, how did I not see that mana buzz switch coming in? I don't know. But I'm going to go into Cryogon this time because I know he's going to do something. And I know Cryogon can do, take anything that mana buzz wants to dish out to me. So I'm going to go for an Ice Beam this turn. It freezes him. So that's extremely unfortunate. Um, I do get some hacks in this battle. But trust me, by like halfway through this video, you're going to be rooting for me to get some hacks um i'm gonna go for rabbit spin this turn because he just keeps setting up the hazards i don't want them on my field and they're just bad news bears for this team overall because it's kind of weak uh, i have three pokemon that seem weak to rocks with the mana buzz typhlosion and i was thinking about that rock weakness when i put the typhlosion and mana buzz on there but i was like eh, i'll play around that as it's, it's worked out quite it's worked out fine for me I'm gonna go for an EQ on the Quillfish. It only does 34%, which is just eh. I'm gonna go for a uh, switch out now. Going to Matt Crayo. No, don't want to take a Will O Wisp. And now I figure, okay, I'm gonna you know recover. Maybe he'll switch out because he actually can't do anything to me. And then I can get a Rapid Spin off because I don't want these hazards on my field. I'm gonna go Rapid Spin this turn. And then I'm looking up. I see the Clefable there. I'm like, okay, I got the superpower on my Absol to take care of this thing. But then I look, go. And I think I hover my mouse over it. I'm just and I see the it's the fairy type now, guys. Pokemon Shona updated everything to X and Y stuff, and I guess I'll comment X and X and Y in the next live narration. Anyways, yeah, it's I'm think so I had to go into Cerebi, Bulbapedia, and look up, and it turns out that clef fairy types are weak to poison and steel. I'm thinking, okay, um, I don't really have any poison types. And the only steel type I have is Agron, so I guess we'll have to go with that. And let me tell you, this guy's team is actually sort of weak to steel type moves. Well, it's it's kind of has a hard time dealing with my Agron. Had a hard time dealing with my Agron, which is just kind of strange, to be honest. Um, you don't really see a team that has trouble with, against steel types offensively. That's just kind of different. Anyways, this question is going to be a really pain in my neck again. Just completely walling my Absol at this point. I'm going to go over to Harry, um, Harry Mama. Harry Mama. And go for close combat. Oh my goodness, Harry Mama, why did you not take out that Quagsire? Oh my goodness, that Quagsire is just a huge pain in my neck for the entire match. Gonna go for a uh, Night Slash this turn, I believe, and finally take out that Quillfish with the critical hit, Super Luck, 
um, high critical hit ratio with a night slash means I have a quarter chance of getting critical hit every time I use it. Um, go and go for an eruption this turn, get another critical hit on the Magnet Buzz. Let me just tell you, this is kind of bad luck for this guy all around. I don't remember when he thought out, to be honest. Going to go for another eruption, get another critical hit on the Cliff Fable. This one doesn't matter at all. Because he's just, you, you'll see, he's going to go for Protect, he's going to go for the Witch, he's just going to get his HP back up there. So this one doesn't matter, but I do admit that those first two were kind of unfortunate. Going to go for Eruption this turn, it does not do that much to this Quake Sire, and I'm all sad and crying and everything because 39 turns, I've only taken out one Pokemon, and that was with the luck of a few crits. Yeah. Going to go on Craigonal this turn because I just want to toxic that thing. I, I like I'm not even predicting at this point. I'm just I'm I'm just like clicking the button because I want it toxic, but I can't do it. And he takes he plays in Clefable with the Magic Guard, takes the toxic of course. And I'm thinking okay, um maybe I'll go for an Earthquake this turn because he might switch into anything to take my Heavy Slam. And Heavy Slam does sixty percent. I'm thinking well is Earthquake the better move to go for because I'm looking at his team right now. Mandibuzz, Cryogonal, and Mischievous all are all immune to Earthquake. And so basically, I was predicting the Quagsire to come in, but I'm thinking, why would he bring the Quagsire to come in when he can just bring in any one of those three Pokemon and they're all immune to my Earthquake? So I'm thinking, okay, Heavy Slam is the better move to go for. And then from this point on, I'm just going to keep spamming with Heavy Slam. And um, I really like that Agron because the Agron is actually kind of cool because it's got the Stealth Rocks, but it also has that cuss stat berry endeavor and sturdy thing going on which i didn't actually get to use during this battle but in other battles it actually kind of worked out for me pretty nicely you know you'd set up your rocks you take a hit get down to sturdy and then you go for the endeavor with the cuss stat i mean i, I could have sworn that cuss stat berry used to be banned but it apparently is not I mean, yeah. I also could have sworn Quick Claw used to be banned as well. Quick Claw used... To, I'm, I'm positive that those two items used to be banned. Anyways, going to go for a talk. He's going to go for Toxic. I'm going to go into Cryogonal. He can't do anything to me. He's going to switch out. I'm going to recover because I only have 50% health left. And this is just entirely, 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 entirely stalling. I mean, yeah. Like, I... People, I like, I like playing stall, but after this game, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. No, just kidding. I'm always going to play that game. I'm, I'm, I'm always going to go defense first. I'm going to be like the New Jersey Devils before 2013. The New Jersey Devils that never gave up a lead, and now they're just known for giving up leads. Anyways, going to go for Heavy Slam this turn. Like I'm saying, look at this. Heavy Slam can actually do a good amount of damage to any Pokemon on his team, barring the Quagsire. So at this point, what I'm trying to do is I want to keep my Typhlosion up there a respectable amount of HP. I'm trying to um first of all I can't stay in too long because of the fact that Cryogonal and Mandibuzz, my two walls, are toxic. And I'm just trying to juggle the rapid spin to uh, the recover I'm trying to recover rapid spin and switch shuffle my Pokemon around so that the just the residual damage of from the poison just doesn't rack up on me. Cause that's apparent what he's doing and his team is actually built in a way that it forces you to switch out and then most of his Pokemon have Toxic, and also his he, he has a lot of hazards to set up. And so basically, what he does is he sets up the hazards, and then he brings in his and then he Toxics as many of your Pokemon as he can. And then he just proceeds to just sit there and heal his Pokemon up with Wish, and make you switch out because if you have a physical attacker attacker against the Quagsire, you can't stay in. You have to switch out, bringing in your special attack the attacker. And then he'll bring in his Mandibuzz or Clefable, and he'll take the hits, and then you'll have to switch out again. And so eventually that damage from the rocks, from the spikes, from the toxic, it's just going to come creepy up on you, and you're just going to be like, wow. So this turn, I'm just going to keep going for the Night Slash. I see the quest, I'm like, I'm, I'm done. It's turn 72, I have to just go for the Night Slash, see where it gets me, and I get a crit, so... Yeah, and then at this point, 32%, nice Superpower is better than Night Slash, so I go over there, and I take him out with the Superpower, which is awesome anyways at this point he was like oh well gg but i don't really see how it's good game at the moment because even though i did take out the quagsire and that was a huge pain in my butt he sells the mischievous which is physically defensive he sells the clefable which is especially defensive so in all in all his walls are still pretty much intact he had two physically defensive walls and two specially offensive walls three actually they're all they're all walls okay his team is entirely made up of walls going to go for heavy slam get another crit on the clefable um to be honest if he 
didn't get a crit, I probably would have just went got two at KO the Mischievous. I know that it has the Will O Wisp, but I think at that point, the point of health that it was at, I might have been able to take him out with the Heavy Slam. I'm gonna go. He's just gonna sack his Mana Buzz at this point, and because I honestly don't even know why, he probably should have tried to bring the Cryogonal first. That's probably a misclick. I'm gonna go for Rapid Spin. He's gonna go for Rapid Spin, and despite the fact that he still only has two walls left on his team. It's still kind of hard to take down because I'm going to bring my Typhlosion here and he's going to take me out to Ice Beam. I really didn't expect him to do that, but not Beast 95, Special Attack, maybe that should have been expected. I'm going to lose my 6-0 there. Um, I'm going to go for a Heavy Slam and his Mischievous takes like a Beast. I'm, so at this point, if I bring in a Special Attacker, he's going to switch. He's got the Cryo, you know, Physical, he's got the Mischievous. I'm just thinking, okay, I'm going to go for Knock Off this turn. but Because at this point, it's pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to win. And it's just a matter of when and how. Well, we know how because at this point I'm just going to keep pressuring his team. Just keep going for the constant attacks. The knockoffs with the mana buzz are going to help. The toxic is going to help because now that his support, main support in the form of Clefable isn't there, his team is going to start to. The rest of his team is going to fall down pretty quickly because he needs that Clefable support with, for as the Cleric, as the Wish support. So, yeah. I'm going to go for Harry Mama this turn because I'm going to go for the, I believe, Close Combat. Or I'm going to predict a double switch, going to Absol. I'm going to go for Night Slash because I really thought it would take him out, but I only have 60%. He's going to go for a Willow Wisp on me, which doesn't honestly doesn't even matter anymore because Cryogonal has base 30 defense. So I can take it out with the superpower pretty easily. So at this point, I'm just going to keep spamming Night Slash. Or I go for the superpower this turn because I didn't want to predict, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Going to go for Night Slash from here on out. It's going to take out the Mysterious. It's going to take out the Craig, you know, thanks to the Toxic. And that will be the game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That was pretty brutal. That was long. That was long. Um, Yeah. Pretty long game. Um probably should end it right about now um thank you so much for watching if you guys want to see me use one of your teams uh send me a personal message copy and paste the team over from pokemon showdown and i'll see you guys next time